Hey guys, Log here, and now that the Nexus 5X has been out for a while and I've gotten a chance to use it, here are the top 5 misconceptions that I've found about the Nexus 5X. The first one is that it feels like a cheap phone. While it is made of polycarbonate or just plain plastic, it's really not that bad. Most people describe it as soft touch plastic, but I think it's more of a matte plastic that's smooth and silky. It doesn't attract fingerprints and it doesn't feel cheap in my opinion. Also, the phone has a bit of heft to it, and it doesn't flex or creak when you handle it. Overall, it's not the most premium phone, but it definitely isn't a cheap phone at all. So the second misconception is that the fingerprint sensor is super fast and super accurate. I see a lot of people praising the new Nexus fingerprint sensors, but I'm a little disappointed by it. I was expecting it to be just like a press of a button, where I could just press the circle to turn the phone on, but I had to hold it for about a second before it started turning on. But if I take it out of my pocket, it does automatically unlock when I start looking at the phone. Also, it's not super accurate. I'm not sure if it's just my finger, but sometimes when my finger isn't flat on the sensor, it won't recognize it. Don't get me wrong, it works 95% of the time, but for those times that it doesn't work, it gets kind of annoying. Next to the speakers, which should sound good, right? Wrong. It's a single front-facing speaker that's located on the bottom of the phone. The sound only comes from one side of the phone, and that bothers me a little bit, but what really bothers me is that the sound quality is just overall not good at all. It's tinny and distorts at high volumes, and it's just nothing compared to other phones like the Moto X or the Idol 3. Here's a quick sound test. So another misconception is that the camera bump hinders the usability of the phone while you put it on a desk, and it's really not true. With a typical typing force, the phone only starts to tilt when you press on it really far on the edge and harder than you would usually, so it's really not that big of a deal. But I don't really like the design because to me the camera lens gets scratched pretty easily. Anyways, don't let the camera bump turn you away from the phone if you like to type a lot on your desk, you'll be perfectly fine. So the last misconception about the Nexus 5X is that the screen isn't good. That's not entirely true. It's not the best I've seen, and there could be some improvements, but it's not bad at all. If you only bought the Nexus 5X, you'd be perfectly happy with it. The only time you'd notice that the screen isn't the best on the market is when you compare it side by side with some other phones. But other than that, the screen looks perfectly fine, and I'm 100% happy with it. It's not dull or warm looking or anything, it's just not as good as some other screens. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video and make sure to tell me in the comments below if you'd like to see some more misconception videos in the future. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Follow me on Twitter for more updates and I'll catch you guys in the next one.